Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm glad to have you join me today. I'm gonna to show you a really quick and fun Easter card. And the thing I like about this the most is making these Easter eggs, they're so much fun. So what you're gonna to need to do is come down to the store and we have some die cuts that we use here um, in the die cut center. So if you come here, somebody in scrapbooking will show you how to use them. And I've used this one for the basket and the eggs and the eggs or I punched out of white so that we can decorate them and make them super cute. And then I used this one, number 42, for the bow on the basket. And I used this one, G2, for the grass. And you can see, like, you can cut it down. You'll get, like, three or four grasses out of it. Anyway, you can cut it into pieces. Um, what we're going to start with is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. That's a, a basic regular card. And then I've cut this piece to be uh, four, a little smaller than that, <laughs> I don't remember. I liked a little, I like a little bit of a border. This one is four by five and a quarter. And the reason I do four inches across and then border it, or you can just leave one border, is because your designer series paper is 12 by 12. So if you cut it at four inches and then five and a quarter length, you can get six cards out of one piece of designer paper. So I've already pre-glued that and, and got it ready for us. And then the little basket, this is like a quarter of an inch just piece strip. And so I would glue that on. Well, let me show you that when we get to that part. I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm so excited to show you this. You're gonna need, um, these are called Easy Dots Repositionable. You might have something else that's repositionable, but I absolutely love this product. It is so much fun, I'll show you that. And then you're gonna need some blender brushes. These are by Picket Fence, and I love these because they're so they're round. Um, Ranger came out, when they came out with the Distress Oxides, they came out with flat ones. And you could probably use those okay, but I prefer the round ones. You get a much smoother blend. And then we have our Distress Oxides, and I will tell you a little bit more about the oxides. And you're gonna need this cute little stencil from Photoplay. Um, it's got all kinds of eggs. Eggs, uh, egg decorations, We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to use that. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to use the Distress Oxides on these eggs. And I wanted to tell you a little bit more, people ask me what's the difference between Distress Oxides and Distress Inks. And my answer is these are more chalky and more soft. So the inks are gonna be your brighter colors, the oxides are gonna be softer colors. They both work with water. If you like to work with them with water, they can, both can be blended, but I like the Distress Oxides. I also like the Distress Oxides because they sit on top of each other. They don't blend into it. So like this egg here, there's a background and then this is on the top of it. And it's, um, yeah, so it's not, they don't blend in and make like a darker color or something. So what we're gonna do is take an egg from the ones that we that I've already die cut from the store here and I might mention too like if you have a Cricut you could probably find some cut files for a basket and eggs and grass and some fun stuff but these these are really fun these stencils and the for I also am going to use these repositionable dots so they're called easy dots repositionable they are sold with the other glues and double sticky tapes and other dots and you're going to put some just puts them on the back of your egg. So it will hold it in place. And let me grab a board to work on. You could work on your table if you have paper, but I wanna save that so it's nice looking. So I'm gonna put the egg on there and it's gonna stay right there in place. And I'm gonna decide which one I wanna do. Um, I like polka dots, that's such a cute one. You can also do the, um, a plain one and you could do like this design on the top. Um, do I have one of those? I have one somewhere, I have them all here, but they're really fun to even just do the plain ones and then do something on top of it. In fact, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna show you that because it'll be fun. Okay, so another thing I like to do is take some positionable, uh, the post-it, sorry, <laughs> post-it tape and just rip that off and Lock it over here so that it doesn't go into any of the other designs when I'm blending with it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the pink Distress Oxide and this blender brush here. 
when you pick it up, the oxides to put on your brush just kind of go in a circular motion. Now these pads are well used, so <laughs> hopefully it's going to look like yours. And I just pick up a bunch on there. You start softly, softly, and then if you want more color, and wherever you want more color, you could just start blending it around and pushing harder on this part until you have the color you want. So you can either have a soft pink or you can have a bright pink. You just keep blending in a circle until it's the shade that you want. Super easy. So I'm going to put that one aside. Then I'm going to decide what other, what else I want to put on here. Let's see. I really like this one. Oh, but I like the polka dots too. Okay, I'm going to do the polka dots. It's so cute. And then I like that I can see through this, see where I've done it already. I'm going to use the purple this time. And I'm going to grab my little post-it note thingies, post-it note pieces of post-it note, and move them over here. Get one more to block this side along here. It probably wouldn't matter because it, no, there's nothing else under it. But then I'm going to either clean the brush I had or get another one. I've got another one, so you don't have to wait for me to clean it. When you do clean these brushes, you, you have to give them some time to dry. They are super fine, and um, I often don't clean them. I just rub it and rub it onto something else till all the color comes off of it and then use it. So I'm going to take the purple and apply it the same way, circular motion, to pick it up, and then just go ahead and place it on top of here. In a circular motion, laying it down, pressing harder if I want more color to come off onto my egg. And there is a tiny, tiny bit of brown in my brush <laughs> from me not cleaning it last time, so it's going to be a little bit different. But then you're going to pull that up. Ta-da! Look out. So now that I've got my egg done, I'm just going to peel it off, turn it over, this is my favorite part, and rub those little dots away. So just rub, it's all clean. You can put it wherever you want, okay? And the way I assembled this card um, is I did a whole bunch of eggs. In fact, Becky from the front door helped me do all these. Thank you, Becky, look how cute she did. So I'm going to put the grass on first, and I don't think I'll glue this because I don't want to take your guys' time, but there's the grass. On this one, when you put the bow on here, I will do this part. Put some glue on the back of it. Oh, did I mention this is Photo Play's Easter paper line for this year? Super cute. When you do a card like this, if there is a design on it, you need to make sure when you're cutting that off that the the design's going to come when you cut the pieces that the design's going the right way. So just lay this across the bottom, the basket wherever you want it. I liked it right kind of underneath the handle or underneath the lip there. And it doesn't matter if it's too long because you can just cut it off. Okay. And then you can glue your bow on there. And what I did first is I kind of lined it all up. I actually glued the bow on last because um, it kind of overlapped the bottom eggs here. And you can decide how many eggs you want to have. Um, I made a slimline card and look how the eggs I got on that one. So it depends on how crazy you want to go with eggs. But a good thing to, a good number is an odd number. So either a three or five or seven. And I just like tucked some in. And the first thing I did was like play with the colors, play with how to put them in, where I'm gonna put them. And then I wanted a couple down here. Okay, and then, then I'm gonna start gluing. So I, before I glue the basket down, I'm just gonna pull these up. I think I started with the center one. Oh look, I put it on the outside. That's cute too, putting it on the outside. If you want that to be outside, then go ahead and put some glue on there, slide it. And you know what, if it overlaps here, we're gonna have to put that on first. So I think what I did, sorry you guys, I think I actually glued the bottom of the basket on, not the handle, so that I could play with these, put them where I wanted. 
And then I, you can like stick some glue under there. Glue these on, glue the bow on, and ta-da, you have a cute Easter card. So come on down, do some die cutting. If you need help, we'll be glad to help you out. Anybody in the die cut center can do that. And yeah, happy Easter.